how I make about 5k a month online without leaving the house every single month. Honestly, one of the secrets is stop caring what everyone's gonna think. <laughs> Hey besties, welcome to my channel again. This video is gonna be kinda different from what I usually do. I've been really getting a lot into money management, financial advice, whole different section of YouTube. You guys know I love my DHK hauls, which is coming. I just wanna make a video that's true to myself and something that's more teachable rather than just like, oh, look at these cute clothes. I still love that, but I feel like this video was something that's one of my passions. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, or on TikTok, then you know I love to post about credit scores, finances. I'll show how much I got paid by HGate or whatever for the commission, stuff like that. And I even posted about how we got a free trip to Vegas, all from like rewards, points off the JetBlue credit card, stuff like that. And it's so easy. I posted a video about that on my TikTok. If you guys want to see that, it was like banned by YouTube for a while and then they let it go because I appealed it. Doesn't make sense it's like sometimes the internet or certain platforms don't want you to know certain things it feels like if you have a mindset of an entrepreneur or you're tired of your nine to five you want to find these other streams of income some of these are passive so if you like free money this video's for you this video's for somebody that wants to get out of that closed mindset of i'm broke i don't have enough money for that that is a poor person mindset. Even though that's what I came from, I always had these aspirations of like humongous things in life. Definitely seeing my parents progress so freaking much from nothing, from $20 coming to America 10 years ago with me at six years old. So having those role models instead of people that just complained, that really brought so much inspiration to me. And actually just yesterday, I created the entity of Marta Productions LLC. Look up Robert Kiyosaki on YouTube. He actually has a bestseller book from 1997, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Oh my goodness. Get Audible. I learn things every single day because I just listen to Audible on all my free time instead of playing Fortnite like I used to. My father was the head of education, PhD, all that stuff. I go home and ask him, said, why don't we learn about money in school? And he looked at me and says, because the government doesn't let us teach that subject. The government tells us what we can teach and what we can't teach. And I thought that was strange. And I said, but aren't we going to school to learn about money? He says, no, your job is to get a job. I said, but you get a job to earn money. He goes, no, you're supposed to just get a job. And I went, no, 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 no. Isn't the purpose of a job to earn money? He goes, you're correct. I said, so why don't I just learn about money? I can skip the job part, you know? And he got flustered and he said, if you want to learn about money, why don't you ask your best friend's father about money? And I said, why? That's Mike. So I ask him. He says, because Mike's father is an entrepreneur. And I said, what, am, what are you? He says, I'm an employee. I'm a government employee. I went, oh, what's the difference? He says, the difference is an entrepreneur must know about money or that they're, they're no longer entrepreneurs. And he says, an employee doesn't have to know anything about money because the government will take care of them, the company will take care of them. So I'm kid, I'm all confused. But I took my dad's advice and I trundled over to Mike's father's office and knocked on his door and I said, hey, I'm here, nine years old. Teach me about money. He says, beat it, kid, you know. But that's where the story of Rich Dad, Poor Dad started. And finally, through persistence, my rich dad started teaching me about money on one condition. And that condition was he would never pay me. He says, the moment I pay you, you think like an employee. He says, that's the trap. Entrepreneurs work for free. And now I'm nine years old, my head's going cracking in half. He says, you never want a paycheck. You understand that, kid? I said, okay, I got it. And he says, well, how do I make money? He says, that's what entrepreneurs figure out. <laughs> when they say, I can't afford it or I can't do that, they go down. 
they become what they say. My PhD daddy says, what do you think I am, made of money? I can't afford that. And my rich dad would say, that's why he's poor. Poor people say, I can't afford it, I can't do that, I don't have time. Because this is an escape. It's an escape, you know what I mean? It's easy to say, I can't afford it. And your rich dad used to say what, instead of, I can't afford it? How can I afford it? How can I do that? You know, what would it take, or why should I do that? He says, a, a question opens a mind, a statement closes the mind. See, when you say, I can't afford it, your mind shuts down, and you become what you say. I was never in that mindset of, I want to work for somebody. I, I wanted to do something great from me. Something that I'll never forget, like ever, 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 something really special that my dad told me. He was telling me in the car one time about how his friend makes like 40000 a month. And I'm like, wow, like that's so awesome. I hope one day I can make that much money. And he was like... Martusa, like that's what he calls me, we're Ukrainian. He's like, Martusa, you could make way more money than that. For some reason, that stuck with me so hard. He said that to me a year ago, and it's just been playing in my head. Manifestation. <laughs> Finally, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so here's my six ways that I personally make around 5K a month. It varies month to month. I'm trying to make that number double by next year. I'm trying to make it happen number one this is what you see here ebay all of that stuff from my decluttering video i'm not donating it because it's all money watch marie kondo watch a couple of her videos on netflix get some inspiration declutter your closet you don't need fifty thousand outfits i'm telling you girl one time we bought a nike cap five years ago never used it i put it up on ebay a couple years ago bought it for 20 sold for 60 dollars 60. stop being lazy and sell the stuff that you don't use that's laying around your house. Number two is affiliate marketing. You don't need thousands of subscribers, thousands of followers to do affiliate marketing. For example, DHK commissions are the one that is the money maker. That's the cash cow. I'll have the links down below for DHK affiliate, Amazon affiliate, shop style, reward style. There's also pay-per-click commission styles. So you'll have like a link to, let's say, a cute shirt from Amazon. This is from Amazon. It's a Skims dupe, the best, $20. I'll have the link down below. Commission link. You see how easy it is? Boom. This is one of like the best ideas I'm going to give you that's easy for right this second. Order something from DHgate that's very looked after. Get the item, even though it might take like two weeks to a month to receive it, and then do a TikTok unboxing. Put, you know, the hashtags that's trending at the moment and boom put the link in your bio to that as commission link though after you sign up for dhgate affiliate program boom you could get thousands of sales imagine some of these they'll give you like high commission 10 percent 20 percent commission it's really crazy the birkin bag right i spent a hundred dollars on it my commission would be let's say ten dollars for getting somebody else to buy it you seen how viral videos go on tiktok and so random it's so random imagine it gets a million views how much commission you could get from even a hundred people. Think outside the box, you gotta research. You can't just be using social media to just for fun, look at pictures, like that, it doesn't really matter. Use it to research, look what other people are doing. How do other people hustle? How do your friends hustle that do YouTube, that get highly viewed TikTok videos? Watch what they do and kinda figure it out for yourself and do it in your own way. Like don't copy, cause that's not cute. Number three is YouTube AdSense everyone has something some type of knowledge some type of personality that is interesting but honestly you don't even have to put your face up on the camera to make money from youtube just get a thousand subscribers four thousand watch hours within 12 months that way you can start earning money from adsense which is google basically i made a video maybe like two years ago on why you should start YouTube and more information how to monetize yourself. I'll link that video up above so you guys can look into that. I am gonna make an updated one for why to make a YouTube in 2022. So, honestly, one of the secrets is stop caring what everyone's gonna think. Do you want to make money? 
or do you want to just live inside this box of nine to five get a job do you guys know for how long i was looking for a psychology job for my psychology degree i have a master's degree in applied psychology i've been looking for a job for like three years now and nothing really came up it's like you need to know somebody for so long i thought that was the only route until i started monetizing my youtube started earning a lot of commission and then i was like taken aback i'm like i'm so sorry to my parents for spending all this money on me for schooling but honestly it just helped me get better at youtube it's like it helps you understand people's mentality more how to talk to people what people want to see what's interesting what catches people's attention so at the end of the day they don't need to feel sorry so number four is investing and this can be i mean i personally use robin hood if you click my link down below you get a free stock sometimes lately they've been doing three free stocks so i highly recommend i know there was a lot of things around robin hood in the past year with the whole crypto and how they were limiting buys with gamestop i know it's like a lot of hate around that but I still use them. I don't use it as much. I just have my stocks in there just sitting there. Crypto, regular investing in let's say uh, solar power, that's really huge and Tesla, let's say Amazon. Have you seen how much Amazon grew within like the last five years? Have you seen? I bought a lot of crypto in May when it was going crazy lost a lot of money but now it's going back up so it's like thank god i didn't sell okay so robin hood and plus you get a free stock and plus if you refer somebody you get three free stocks and sometimes they do five free stocks you could sign up your mom dad your brother your sister your cousin you could get so much money number five is a little more complicated you definitely need more money for this and income basically it's to buy an investment property for example there's places that are super super cheap around the united states personally here a good investment property would be let's say a two hundred thousand dollar condo right you get that condo let's say the mortgage would be a thousand per month right you get renters they're gonna be paying you a thousand six hundred let's say investment income like if you have the money or if you could have let's say your parents invest in that idea for you and then you'll give them returns or you know whatever interest that's awesome like that's what i'm talking about mm, generational wealth we have one investment property in north carolina we pay 820 dollars a month for mortgage and then they pay us a thousand three hundred a month so it's like just money in your pocket every month it's awesome and it pays off your mortgage and then you'll have a property fully paid if you have the means for that then i would say do it the last thing that i really wanted to talk about is because what i'm currently about to do so i'm gonna bring you guys on the journey with me i'm literally i'm so open like i'll tell you guys all my secrets why keep it in like we could all win something that i'm going for now because i've seen a lot of notaries on tiktok and talking about you know that they really work on their own schedule whenever they want they make a lot of money whenever they want so i'm like that's the one for me i'm looking into getting a notary license and also a realtor license because i want to make it like a business with my parents they get the investment properties i'll be the realtor instead of paying that random lady that they use they're gonna use me and it's like you know the money stays within the family if there's any realtors on here let me know some tips because i don't know where i'm gonna take that whole thing it's essentially just so the whole family can benefit from it but it's also good to have the knowledge i mean the course is like 500 dollars. i just want to thank you guys so much i appreciate every single one of you seriously thank you for all the comments the likes the views even the bad comments youtube puts that in the algorithm and it takes it as this video is getting attention let's let more people see it so thank you don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell so you know when i come out with more money videos dhk videos haul videos vlogs travel we're going to vegas in january and you already know see you guys in the next video